Hey guys, Cool Juice here, and welcome back to another Destiny video. In today's Destiny video, we're going to be going over what armor mods to run for your SMG build to kind of mimic my own, and I wanted to explain why each mod is good. We're going to divide this video into two parts, the weapon mods and then the general mods slash charge with light mods. So without further ado, let's get into the weapon mods. So first of all, on the helmet, we got SMG targeting, we got shotgun targeting, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Having that extra aim assist, that extra accuracy, as well as ADS speed is really nice. Um, and so having this on both weapons is really valuable to me. I don't really need too much ADS speed because of the innate handling on most SMGs alongside with peacekeepers. However, having that little bit of extra bullet magnetism is always nice. And it's more noticeable for my shotgun since, once again, I'm running in duality. It's very nice making that hitbox just that more plump, as well as aiming down sights a little bit quicker. Onto my gloves, the this is one of the most important parts, is my SMG loader. The second most important stat on an SMG is reload, and so having an ability on your gloves that allows you to do that faster is obviously very good. You can even opt in for double SMG loader. I'll explain why I don't do that later, but... Double SMG loader isn't a bad thing if you don't like fastball. On my chest piece, I run one unflinching of each of my weapons, so that way I have consistency within the gunfights regardless of what I'm using. I don't want to be in a situation that I get flinched off of a shotgun shot because I don't have unflinching on, and in the same way I don't want to lose a gunfight to a hand cannon because I don't have unflinching SMG. Essentially keeping my dueling well-rounded so I can consistently do everything good. On my boots, I have Shotgun Scavenger, that's basically just special weapons are very strong, and so having as much duality and a Reese Walker ammo is very good. And that's about it for my weapon mods. The main gist of all of them, if you couldn't tell already, is consistency. Mainly that is seen on my chest piece as well as my helmet, but the ability to have both my shotgun and my SMG as consistent as possible is very valuable to me. And which is why I don't, let's say, double stack on SMG targeting, because my shotgun is very strong, my SMG is very strong, I want to help them both out rather than just full sending into one. Moving on to general slash charge with light mods, the main charge with light thing that I think everyone and their third child runs is high energy fire, because high energy fire is very strong. Basically, whenever you have a stack of charge with light, you get a damage perk, and this works in PvP. And so, it's very strong because it essentially gives my Killing Wind Iron Reach multi mock kill clip as long as I get two kills. Or, I get a shotgun two kills. So I generate an orb, which then on my boots, I have taking charge, pick up the orb, get charged with light. And once I get that damage perk from picking up an orb, I also regenerate my health, which is very valuable. Kind of the situation that this sets up is that I kill two people with my SMG, I'm really low health, I slide onto the orb, I get most of my health back, and then I melt the next guy. It really allows me to play super fast while simultaneously having, you know, I get health, I get damage, it's really nice, it's really fun, and I highly recommend pairing recuperation, or better already, with a build like this. It's very fun, and it makes the whole charge with light thing that much more effective. Besides that, I also have radiant light, mainly for the strength. However, it does charge my teammates up in trials, which is very valuable. Fastball is extremely important for me because of how I use my grenades. Especially on things like striker, fastball is almost mandatory. But even on things like behemoth, when I throw a grenade, being able to throw my glacier wall that much further is really nice. As well as being able to counter other titan walls very effectively is really good too. Fastball is a top tier mod in my opinion. So if you can get used to it, I would 100% recommend it. However, I do understand that not a lot of people like it. And so if that is, is the case, then double SMG reload isn't a bad idea either. Finally, on my class item, we have Outreach, which essentially gives me around like 20 tiers of strength for that melee cooldown, which is why I actually spec low in strength, even though melee is a very centric part of my build. Being able to just pop a wall and it gives me a big chunk of my melee cools it basically faster than my grenade most of the time. And so Outreach is a top tier perk and really helps well round these stats. You could do the same thing with Bomber. Let's say you have low discipline, you use Bomber to compensate. Works the same way. However, I have a strength 
low build, so I use Outreach. In addition, I want this to be Arc, so I can run a perk like Quick Charge. Quick Charge is, in my opinion, probably the best Charge with Light mod in the game for PvP for two reasons. One, the way it charges you with Light. It's very easy to get a shotgun or fusion rifle double kill. And so, you know, whether you're into Fel Winters, CQC, Reese Walker, Duality, Chaperone, you get double kills all the time with shotguns. And so having this to do that is really nice. Additionally, if I get a double kill, it normally spawns an orb. When paired with taking charge, I get two stacks of charge with light, which gives me damage perk for my SMG once again. Additionally, the bonus that gives me extra handling on my shotgun is very nice. It helps me in the heat of the moment get that shotgun out faster and have that extra bit of survivability. Even though as far as I know it is bugged, it should be doing more than what it is doing currently. I still think it's very valuable and even just how frequent you get charged with light from the first bonus is enough for me to run it. And so the basic combat loop of my general mods is get double kill, pick up orb, heal up, do more damage, get next double kill, heal up, do more damage, you know. It's very effective, and it kind of mimics the devour lock type style, while not having A to be on devour lock, and B also having a damage perk. It's very nice, and is one of the most important parts about playing, or just fragging in PvP in general. Once again, a quick reminder, high energy fire does stack with things like kill clip, so on something like Shire's Wrath, it goes up to 36 per crit with both of them active. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope this was informative, and I hope you guys can start incorporating into this charge with light shit. It's so much fun, man. I just have a blast when using this, so I hope you guys can incorporate this into your build and have just as much fun as I am. Anyways guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.